Good morning. It is Monday, November 7th, and I'm headed to Las Vegas in a very roundabout way. Right now I'm sitting in Boardman, Oregon at a Love's truck stop waiting for somebody to show up to fill up my propane tank. I've been waiting for like 10-15 minutes. I'm not sure how long I should wait before I bail. But anyways, uh, I left Idaho yesterday afternoon, uh, drove to Pendleton, Oregon to Whitehorse Casino to avoid um, snow that was coming in last night and today. I Today I am driving from Pendleton to Eugene, Oregon. I'm gonna spend the night in Eugene tonight and then tomorrow I'm gonna get up and drive down along the McKenzie River um, all the way to the coast and then take 101 all the way down the coast in the California almost to I think San Francisco and then cut over to some friends house um, that live just outside of Sacramento somewhere and then Thursday drive from there to Laughlin spend the night in Laughlin and then Friday drive in Las Vegas pick Aaron up from the airport and then spend the weekend in uh, Vegas at the, I think we booked at the Mirage for the weekend. Um, we wanted to stay there one last time before it switches over to Hard Rock. So anyways, um, we have about a month ahead of us of being in Las Vegas. Um, we're gonna visit Zion National Park. We're gonna go down and spend some time in Lake Havasu. Uh, we're spending Thanksgiving in Laughlin with Aaron's aunt and uncle. So anyways, um, lots of fun adventures ahead of us. If I ever get this propane filled up, I can get it going. So anyways, probably won't film a whole lot until tomorrow when I get to Eugene and head down um, the McKenzie River into the coast. Because I hear, uh, I'm told by Aaron's uncle that it is one of the prettiest drives this time of year. So anyhow, um, if I see anything fun or interesting, I will show it to you. Otherwise, um, next time you see me, it'll probably be in Eugene. Well, I'm back on the road. Turns out, I don't know how to hit the little button at the propane station at Love's. I did it wrong, and I sat there and waited for like 20 minutes before I was like, oh, I want to try it again. And when I read the directions and did it right, it took him about, I don't know, two minutes to come out and fill me up. So anyways, I'm back on the road, and I'm heading into uh, Portland. Don't think I'll stop. Hopefully I don't have to stop. I'm full of gas, full of propane. Next time I have to stop, should be way beyond Portland. So anyways, I will talk to you somewhere on the road. Well, I made it to Eugene, Oregon. I uh, stay in the night here at uh, Deerwood RV Park. It uh, looks like a really nice park. Had to drive through some pretty nasty rain all the way from Hood River to about Albany, all the way through Portland. It was just horrible. I had to pull over at one point and just wait out some of it. But anyways, I made her. This looks like a really nice uh, park. It's like a little pond back here. I'm right next to the, these are the showers and restrooms up there. Anyways, I'm going to get settled in for the night and I will see you tomorrow for the drive down Highway 38 down to the coast and then 101 
into California. Should be a beautiful drive, lots to see. Good morning. It is about eight o'clock. I am just leaving uh, Deerwood RV Park. It was a really nice stay. They had really nice uh, bathrooms and showers this morning, all private, all to yourself. And now I have about a two hour drive to get to the coast. This is a really nice RV park. And the people here are super friendly. So anyways, I will see you when I get to the coast or maybe along the river on the way. made it over to the coast there's supposed to be a lighthouse right down there I'm not sure if you can see it from here or not uh, it doesn't look like you can see it from here but it's a clear day Well, I've driven over a hundred miles of the coastline and except for one little sliver that I showed you before, this is the first I've seen of the ocean. So far, the drive is not what I was expecting. It's a nice drive. It's just not as many pullouts and views of the ocean as I was anticipating. But this one, this is a good one. This is in Port Orford, Oregon. I'm hoping from this point on, there's more viewpoints. Here's another viewpoint just up the road. This is about as pretty as pretty gets in my book. Now I'm getting excited for the rest of the drive. Well, the challenge now is to not stop every five minutes because the views are so amazing.
Seems like a pretty good spot to have lunch. Pretty amazing drive. Well, made it into California. Ironically, it's sunny and beautiful in Oregon, and it's kind of cloudy and uh, rainy here in California, but still beautiful. There's a there's a lighthouse right over there. I'm in Crescent City, California. There's a really cool lighthouse right out there. Well, just south of uh, Eureka, California, staying at a place called Johnny's by the Beach. It's not the fanciest, I don't think you can see it at night. But I'm walking down because it's literally right across the street from the ocean. So unfortunately I got here a little too late to really see it and there's not, um, it's not really, it's kind of cloudy so there's no sunset or anything but anyways it was a pretty great day. I am looking forward to tomorrow and what it will bring. So, if you've made it this far in the video, thanks for watching it, and we'll see you tomorrow.